We've been talking a lot about facets recently. We've been tracking the storms that have been coming in through September and October. And pretty much anywhere you look in the mountains, any snow that you see has faceted and become quite weak and cohesionless. Remember, this is key because we have a few ingredients that you need for the slab avalanche. First, you need a slope steep enough to slide. That's generally 30 to 45 degrees in steepness. You need a weak layer, which again, is pretty much any of the snow that you see out there at the upper elevation, northerly, northerly slopes. And then with the storm that's on the doorstep, that may be the slab to fail on that weak 